Ona shalom. All the praises, on and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Rakakatash, the world runs unto the elders of apostles, the great most on shalom to the sincere Akim. Laboring goes of four winds with us, so Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, has scattered us in these last days. All right. These riches will not profit, okay? They will never able to deliver us. Uh, I won't be delivered by riches. You won't be delivered by your riches. I. Uh, we can take nothing with us, except our works. All uh, right. That's why we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves. All uh, right. And continues to so uh, to keep on doing the work of Yahweh Hashem uh, which is pleasing in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Uh, serving, okay, ministering unto the saints. So the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Uh, going to the, to the other one, Palal. Uh, it says, Matthew 6 and 9 says, 6 and 10 says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in, in heaven. Because uh, we're seeking for that final establishment, establishment of righteousness. That's exactly what we're seeking for. Because uh, it says, uh, verse, uh, verse 10 says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be, uh, it says, thy, thy will be done in heaven as it is in it. So like it says, thy will be done in earth as it, as it is in heaven. Uh, That's exactly what we're seeking for. Uh, for the kingdom which is yet to come. Uh, this is not the kingdom. Because uh, all the riches in this place are, are got in order for you to get any form of wealth, it must be, be you must have it by, by ill gains. Uh, you can't have riches in righteousness in this place. Uh, you just can't. You are unable to do so. You can try all by all means, but you're gonna fail. Okay, successfully so you're going to fail to have riches in righteousness in this place. Alright. It says, I give us this day our daily bread. That's the only. That's our only concern. Alright. Day by day. Alright. Day by day. We're not supposed to be concerning ourselves. Alright. About, like, like all these people concerning themselves about five years from now on my fin my, my financial financial health all about your spiritual well-being uh, where your treasures are uh, what your treasures at okay is where your heart is uh, and the fashion of this world is going to pass away so what man of person ought we to be uh, as the scripture says in Second Peter's, in all in all in all holy conversation, I. Uh, Cause it's gonna, uh, even for myself, I. Uh, a year in, so, so to speak, I. Uh, have fallen short. I have re realized, you know what? To hell with uh, these overtimes, working overtime, extra time. What about saving your half my shy? Instead of going all in, trying trying to get this money, okay, it's all worthless. I uh, the time that that I uh, I could easily be using, okay, studying, I uh, and and getting some rest. Busy over there trying to get some overtime. It doesn't work like that. The only overtime that we're supposed to be striving for is to serve Yahweh Bashmiel Shai while it's still day. Okay, the scripture says in the Yahweh Shai said, Look, uh, while the light is still in you, uh, make use of it while it's still day. That's what that's the kind of a mentality we're supposed to have daily. Uh, while, we, while, while I'm still walking, while I'm still breathing, okay, while I'm still able, okay, <coughs> through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, while the spirit is still borrowed unto us, okay, but we still. Okay, walking around, that's exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We're here, we are here to serve Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, and none else. Not to serve our own, to, not to, serve, to, 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 uh, to serve our own selves, but accept 
but to serve Yahab Hashemashai. This is the whole duty. Okay, as an as an, an Israel, Israelite man, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, your priority is not supposed to be on riches. Alright. The true riches is in the wisdom, knowledge, and, and understanding of Yahweh Pashmi or Shai. Uh, and the only way you're going to get it is through these scriptures. Uh, wisdom of a land man cometh by leisure. Make time for Yahweh Pashmi or Shai. Because uh, quite soon there won't, there won't be no, there will be no time. Uh, the time is short. Matthew chapter 6, verse 11 says, Give us. Uh, this day our daily bread uh, we're not supposed to have this kind of mentality as, as, uh, as these Christians have uh, prosperity, prosperity we're going to prosper in the kingdom not now uh, there's Proverbs uh, uh, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 27 Uh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 27. Verse 24 says, Riches uh, are not forever. And doth, it says, And doth the, uh, the crown endureth to every generation. Because uh, this is a setup that we have in this, in this present day. Uh, in, in this world right now, in society, riches of this world, are not going to last forever. The fashion of this world passeth away. We, we yet remain, okay, unto this very day, yet there still remain a day where we're going to have rest. Uh, yet there remain rest for the people of the Most High. This is not our rest, okay. This place is going to pollute, okay, more and more and more. It's going to get, pol it's being polluted more and more. Uh, and as, as such, we're not supposed to be partakers of this world. Uh, we're not supposed to be, to be doing those things. Uh, our conversations are supposed to be of Yahweh, Nyasha. We sh we're supposed to be concerning ourselves of, with prophecy, seeing the downfall of this place, as we, as we are constant constantly are measuring the time diligently, uh, as we see the operas of the people, the race wars, uh, the situation that's happening globally. Uh, these are the times have been that, that of all the prophets of old have been sincerely and diligently in seeking out to see. Uh, and th it is a blessing for our eyes to be able to see these things. Uh, to be able to see these things. We know this for a fact. Surely this is that final generation that Yahweh was talking about. It says all these things, uh, sh they shall all come to pass. Okay. Within this the exact same generation uh, the kingdom we, this is the beginning of the kingdom right now uh, beginning with serving and returning unto Yahweh in the days of our captivity right, the last of this captivity uh, says so the Proverbs 27 verse 24 says uh, for riches doth not endure forever with the exception of what of the kingdom of what the kingdom of heaven, because uh, this this place is gonna be destroyed, all of it, uh, the economy is gonna crash and it's not gonna be rebuilt. Uh, there's no rebuilding, okay. There's no recovery after this, okay. It says uh, Proverbs 29, 27 verse, uh, verse 24. It says, "For riches are not forever, and 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 doth the crown endure." For says, and doth the crown endure to every generation? No, it doesn't in this place. It does not in this generation. Okay, in, in this in this current eon, in this age, it does not. because uh, it's, it's it's not how the most have set things up to be, with one true exception, which is gonna when, when the true gods of okay, of the world of this world. Okay, 
true rightful heirs of this of this planet okay the hebrew israelites you negro so-called negroes hispanics native americans when when we're going to be ruling under yahweh shah under yahweh or yahweh shah king david okay the 12 disciples and the rest of the 120 the 144,000 the elect in righteousness when we're going to have the the law statutes, statutes and commandments of yahweh shall be written in our inward parts and then shall what shall the shall the the, the uh, the the crown endure for for generation unto generation, cause it's gonna be an everlasting kingdom. All right. In fact, let me get Daniel. So the book of Daniel, chapter chapter two. Uh, this, this is when the the crown is going to be enduring forever, and it's going to be in righteousness and riches. Okay, are going to be there. The economy is it's not going to fluctuate. Okay, it's going to be constant and it's going to be in perfect harmony and in balance with all resources, uh, and things of that nature. All right, this is the book of Daniel chapter two. Says so Daniel chapter two verse forty four says, and in the days of these kings shall the most of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Okay, that's why the crown is not enduring unto generation to generation right now, because the, all these kingdoms have been left to other people, all right, to these heathens, all right, to the nations, all right. Says, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall and and it shall stand forever. This is an everlasting kingdom that we're looking towards to. All right, and that and that we are we are forsaking all the rest to be forsaken in this world, beginning with the with the riches of this world and denying ourselves daily. All right. As we are pressing towards the mark, all right, seeking salvation from Yahweh Shah that we might be found worthy, okay, at, at, the, uh, at the, the appearance of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, all right, the one you still ignorantly, you two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're still calling unto the name, you're still calling, calling him by the name of Jesus, man, all right, the name is Yahweh Shah, okay, this is our Proverbs. Uh, chapter chapter 30 I believe all right this eight says says a proverb chapter 30 this eight says a uh, remove far from me vanity and lies uh, and give me neither poverty nor riches feed me with food convenient for me all right as long as you don't go uh, uh, to bed uh, on, on an empty stomach, sometimes it happens, but eventually, before the end of the week, you're going to be covered. All right? you, he, he knows what, 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 we, are, what we need, our, our daily necessities. He, know, he, he knows everything. Uh, he knows everything. All we, got, we have to do is just put all our trust and our strength into serving Yahweh Masha. All these things are going to be sorted out. Okay, he's, he 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 has his saints in the elect covered. All right. Of all such things, the heathens, the heathens, they seeking they seeking after these things. Uh, they trust in riches. All right. And the scripture says it: uh, riches profit nothing. They profit uh, nothing in the day of destruction. All right. They grow themselves wings. Uh, and and pretty much soon, a lot of you, you, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're gonna realize that quite soon, because uh, you have you you would have not been laying uh, treasures according according to the will of the Most High. Uh, 
it says that remove Proverbs chapter 30 verse 8 says remove far for me vanity and lies give me neither poverty nor riches feed me with food convenient for me it says least I be fool I be fool and deny thee and say who is Yahweh or least I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain all right daily bread all right don't do not don't uh, do too much all right the only thing that we're supposed to be what to be are uh, working hard towards to is is, is, is serving your harpash masha and ministering unto the saints that's where the, our prior priority is supposed to be at all right not not over times uh, the next thing you're going to take all that money you know it's not going to even going to benefit the ministry uh, you're going to take all that money uh, and do whatever you're going to be doing with it okay just just let me just say that all right if it if it if it does not benefit the ministry uh, the brotherhood the archium all right it has nothing hey you should not be bothering with any of those things uh keep it simple uh let that eye be be single okay that's the kind of a mindset we're supposed to have even i myself i'm working towards that more and more and more daily all right that's why the scripture says it examine thyself daily <coughs> all right because the more you scrutinize the more you scrutinize yourself uh, the more you realize you know i got a whole lot to work on okay because we, we are not as of yet have been refined and tried uh, we're going through the the, uh, the refining process right now uh, daily all right <clears throat> this is a book of proverbs 23 last scripture proverbs chapter 23 all right so like it 23 Oh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 23. <clears throat> it says, uh, Proverbs, chapter 23, mm, verse 5. Okay, let me start at verse 4. It says, uh, Labor not to be rich. It says, Seize from thine own wisdom. Because uh, we know our, our mindset is we're no longer inclined according to the wisdom of this world, which man teacheth. All right. Cause that's what the world gonna do gonna teach you all right hey man you get your, your your financial life uh your your financial health okay what about your spiritual health health okay what about that it doesn't mean you, you be you be reckless when it comes to your financials okay don't get it wrong okay it doesn't mean that I'm not saying that okay but you must apply balance in everything that you do uh, this is your main priority uh, this is the whole duty of men in fact I got, I'm gonna have to close with that one so the Proverbs chapter 23 right, verse, uh, verse 3 again says be not verse 4 says labor not to be rich cease from thine own wisdom it says <clears throat> says uh, verse uh, 5 says will thou set thine eye upon that which is not right uh, the having a, 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 a what you call a materialistic uh, mindset uh, that's folly okay and that's going to lead you to to uh, to the destruction all right says uh says well thou said then uh, then eyes upon that which is not upon uh, well thou set thine eyes upon that which is not for riches riches ascend certainly make themselves wings they fly away as an eagle toward heaven uh, but the only thing that we're going to take is what it's going to be our works as the, as the scripture says in the book of uh, revelation all right fact ecclesiasticus okay i'm going to have to get that in the book of uh, ecclesiastes ecclesiastes uh, real quick All right. This is the book of book of Ecclesiastes twelve. All right. 
just the whole reason why we've been placed on this planet right now in this current current uh, age uh, to serve Yahweh to minister unto the saints okay not unto our own to our own selves and, and to our own benefit uh, seeking our own will but to serve Yahweh okay it says Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 says let us hear the whole let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear Yahweh and keep his commandments uh, for this is the whole duty of man okay and these all the whole commandments encompasses a whole lot of things first of all you must have faith in Yahweh and and do all these things which are contained in these scriptures to the best of your ability. Uh, and part of it is standing upon our watch uh, and giving out the warning, uh, not saving our own selves. So, you know what? To help with that man, okay? I'm not doing that. That's too much. Hate not thou laborers work. All right. This is last scripture of Revelation. It's like here. Yeah. <coughs> Revelation. Uh, Revelation chapter four, 14 uh, Spoke of Revelation chapter 14 it says, uh, And I heard the voice from heaven saying unto me Alright Revelation chapter 14 verse 13 says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me Right Bless I th says, uh, I heard a voice uh, from heaven saying unto me Bless Selak so like, so like right. Bless are the dead which die in the Lord Yahweh Shai from henceforth, yea, save the spirit, and that they may rest uh, from their labors and their works to follow them. These are the true riches, the works. All right. We're not, suppo we're not supposed to be to hate our laborers' work. All right. To hell with making money. The true riches and money is 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 doing the will of Yahweh Shmiyasha and serving Him, and none else. All right, with fear and trembling. Okay, of that all praises be all the praises be unto Yahweh Shmiyasha, Ba'asham Raka Kadash. Double honors, double honors unto the elders of Hosos, a great Muslim. And the elders on down shall come to you since he Akim across the four winds, laboring across the four winds. With us, Yahweh Yahweh Pashmi Ashai has scattered us, all right, and to the whole, and to the elect, the whole full elect, the true believers in Yahweh Pashmi Ashai, women and children, or those who already be, who have been preordained unto salvation to be redeemed from among men, the great multitude, all right, the ones that Yahweh Pashmi Ashai is going to have mercy upon, all right, Shalom.